Hey, what is up everybody? Uh, Timo here. Before the video starts, I want to remind you, only 20% of the people who are watching my channel has subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider the subscribe button if you're interested in variety of builds, news, and everything that comes with Dark and Darker. So pretty much recently, recently, the Iron Mace has come out with the new patch, and the new patch brought a new build, the Frost Light Abyss Cheese. Pretty much we got a variety of things. The whole kit right here is so goddamn expensive it's ridiculous now shout out to hannah she provided me with this build uh for just like a little under thirty thousand gold more or less i believe that's how much i paid and pretty much this is what we have this whole build was crafted by hannah you know that's that's basically the service that she offers little shout out right here and we're gonna go back into the video so this is the build that we have the frost light abyss plate armor the Frostlight Trousies, Frostlight Lightfoot Boots, Frostlight Cloak, Frostlight Riveted Gloves, Crusader Helmet, and the Lantern Shield. Like, in order to get this build, the first thing you gotta go is you gotta go to the Frost Mountains. And um, you gotta go kill the dragon, and then once you kill the dragon, you gotta bring a pickaxe with you. And if you made it in time, you would actually have to mine. And uh, if you make it in time, then you'll have to find a way to extract. And this it's like a lot of things that you, you, you know, you'd have to do it. Or you could do the other way. You can hop into the marketplace. You can Google up the Frost stuff. Frost Abyss plate armor, for example. And here we go. Eight grand. Eight freaking grand. Now, this is fucking ridiculous. This price is insane. Very much, this is the cheese that we have. And I just want to quickly show you, like, the stats it has to offer. For example, it offers additional move speed. Each and every piece there is offers you one extra move speed. For example, well, not even one, maybe even more. For example, the Frost Light Trousies, it offers you six agility, but usually it's going to slow you down by... What? Wait a second. It was supposed to be three, now it's two. They did a nerf, Shadow nerf again? What the heck is that, brother? What? Okay, well, we're not going to talk about this. I guess the Iron Mace came out with another feature that they didn't want to tell about. It's like, I would assume it's fucking Shadow Change or something, but anyway... So now it only slows you down by one, when usually it's supposed to be three, now it's two, and well, you could see the difference. It's gonna give you a flat, uh, like, five move speed, I would say, considered the fact that, uh, you know, each agility gives you around one MS. And also we have the Frostlight, Frostlight Lightfoot Boots, which gives you flat 14 move speed. That's good. Um, and basically, here we go, more move speed on the cloak, more move speed, a lot less penalty than, you know, you would get otherwise on the Crusade Helmet. Also, we got a Frostlight Lantern Shield. Surprisingly, the difference between these shields actually exists. The four moves the difference, bro. What the heck is that? Yo, I thought it's actually the same. No, I was wrong. I was, in fact, incorrect. The difference is right freaking there. You could actually see it. Like, holy hell. Four moves the difference. Damn, bro. This build is actually freaking sick. Actually sick. I'd absolutely love to go play with it, but um, I can't really... I, I don't know, I, I don't want to lose this in my first game. <laughs> that's that's why I'm I'm gonna kinda pass on it. But it, today's video is not over. So there is actually a number of changes that Iron Mace has come up with. And pretty much I'm gonna cover them all up. And also we're gonna be playing a little bit on a barb with the new bar dish that recently got drastically changed. And that's the damage. The damage output on bar dish is ridiculous. It's 69 and it can go up to 71. Could you imagine a weapon that hits for 71? I feel like it's gonna be something crazy. The Iron Mace changes the meta faster than with blink of an eye. And uh, basically here you could see pretty much majority is gonna be at 70. I mean, let's just buy this one really quick, you know, why the freak not. Majority of these um gonna be at 70 and there is gonna be one somewhere at 71. I would assume have to roll through a couple of times. I bought a couple of those with 71 damage, but uh, I guess... Oh, here we go, the one for 71 damage. Just for you to know. Oh, holy hell, look at the numbers. Armor pen, max health, physical power, max rolls. Isn't isn't this pretty good, no? How about we buy it? And 900 gold? Sounds like a good deal to me, you know what I mean? Boom, it's ours now. Now, look at this art of beauty. Where the hell is this? Ah, here we go. Look at this. Beautiful. Armor, max cells, fist power, and most importantly, 71 damage. Bro, are you freaking kidding me? That This feels like a most unique item there is in the game, you know what I mean? It's actually, the numbers are insane, and um, it's been a minute since the last time I've seen anything to go for that high. But also, the Iron Mace changed the Swift. 
and uh, now the Swift doesn't have any penalty. So today I have already encountered a fighter with 190 health, 70% PDR and 293 move speed. Those numbers are legit freaking insane and the guy had yeah the guy had a good gear I agree but the fact that he had such an insane rolls and such an insane um I know stats and be so fast while running full plate is downright ridiculous and I don't see I don't think what could kill him other than you know withers or warlocks yeah withers and warlocks could kill him but uh you know that just that just how it works but what about barbs <laughs> no barbs will never kill a PDR homie like that but yeah anyway I want to cover up a number of things and pretty much this is one of the things that I want to cover okay okay so pretty much this is the patch notes that came out midnight I'm kind of surprised that the Iron Mace post them during the night it's uh, not that common pretty much the most important thing that you could see is the swift got buffed from 20 to 30 but we'll get to that later so we got a couple of issues fixed like War Warlock's Bolt of Darkness were not treated as projectile apparently. The Swift buffed, Fighter Weapon Mastery buffed, bullshit, both should get nerfed. Barbarian Rage physical damage reduction penalty change from 15 to 10%, unreasonable change. Instead of this, Rage is already a most used perk, you should not buff this, you should buff the stuff that's never been touched. It's okay though, I'm, you know, congrats to all barbs out there, but still, like, just buff the other stuff. Plus, I know, blood exchange maybe, only one person in the whole Dark and Darker community using that, and that's Skinny Pit. Wizards Arcane Shield took shield change from 20 to 15. Okay, actually, good change, I guess, good change, because 20 was too much and it scales way too well. Meditation tick interval has been changed from 1.5 to 0 0.75 seconds. It means that now it will take less time. Uh, for you to get all your cheese back. Cleric Perseverance, perseverance Damage Absorption Change from 3 to 2. Okay. Uh, protection from Evil Bonus Effect. Okay, we got actually this actually pretty drastic because there's some damage that was, there's some ticks that were doing like, you know, around 3 damage and the difference between 3 and 2 is like, well, on one hand, will completely eradicate the whole damage. On the other hand, you know, we're still gonna get hurt in the process. So that's actually pretty huge. Protection from evil got changed from 50 to 30. Huge, very huge. This is drastic. This is actually ridiculous. Because Cleric is dead now. <laughs> Maybe it's not dead, but it's actually huge. 50 to 30, holy hell, that's actually ridiculous. Locust Swarm reduces the amount of physical magical healing the target receives by 50%. Mm, okay, yeah, I, I guess so, I guess. The damage per second changed from 2 to 13. Holy hell, so legit you just use it? And, you know, you burn people down, you don't need to scale it already, because it's just gonna have 13, it's gonna have, what, six times more damage, six and a half more times damage, damage than you're supposed to have? Holy hell. Torture Mastery Attribute Bonus Ration changed from 0, 1 to 0 0.05. Okay, I guess, fine. So, it's like twice less as effective, so now you're barely gonna heal? I, I guess. World of Curse of Pain instant damage change from 10 to 7. Oh, okay, yeah. No, Curse of Pain was actually quite a drastic thing, but uh, why does Iron Mace like go completely ham on nerfs? I don't understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is these are such a toxic changes. I'm I legit gonna I'm gonna be honest. These are like holy hell. The the Iron Mace just legit changes the metas. Like you know, like out of thin air. Like oh hey, today we're gonna go gonna change uh, meta. Let's do that. Yeah, and talks about it. Let's fucking got out the course of pain, and let's delete the torture mastery. <laughs> like holy hell. Torn Barrier hate changed from 150 to 120. Um, so I guess now you can jump over, maybe? Maybe not. Um, Herbal Sensing Range increased. Does anyone ever even use this? I feel like this is such a waste. Trend Spell Tier changed from 3 to 5. Too many trends. And the count got nerfed. So the nerfs drew it a little more, okay? Just make this fucking infinite range that you can see the whole thing through, throughout the whole map. Why not? Crystal stored moves, movement speed penalty change from 30 to 25. Okay. I mean, now we, we gotta, we gotta have a little more crystal swords users. I kind of wanted to play on a fighter with the crystal sword. Maybe it's the time. The crystal sword base magic weapon damage increase to parity with physical damage weapon. 
uh, phys physical weapon damage. All right, weapon damage increased for Burdish, Halberd, Battle Axe, Double Axe, Wormel, and Quarterstaff. And speaking of this, let's actually go back into the game really quick and let's actually see the numbers. So le let's say, let's look at the Quarterstaff. 41 damage, and previously it was a lot less than that. It was actually horrible, now it's 41, but let's say legendary. Wasn't it like 35 before? It was doing the exact same damage as the Viking Sword, I believe. And what is the Viking Sword? 36, yeah, so the quarter stuff was doing like 37 or 36, 37 damage while being epic, and now it does 41, so damage is actually right there, it's slightly buffed. It's still gonna be dog shit, it didn't change, the quarter stuff is gonna be, still gonna be horrible. Um, what are the other weapons? Let's quickly check. The halberd, battle axe, double axe, war mole, quarter stuff. Let's, let's check the war mole and let's check battle axe, I guess. War mole? 59, I guess, wait, I'm not sure if Wormel even got changed, I feel like this were the numbers before, I could be wrong, and let's check the Battle Axe. Oh yeah, the Battle Axe, I almost feel like the same numbers, by the way, more or less barely changed, I mean, for Battle Axe, doesn't even matter to begin with. Okay, so let's move on to the other stuff. Um, Cobalt Crafted Items now give 3.5 Armor Penetration as primary attribute. Wasn't it the exact same thing, no? New craft items have been added. Yep, we saw that the new torch has been added. If you donated previously five dollars um, toward fuck cancer and um, you know the charity uh, against cancer, and basically you would get the torch. Um, I believe I got it. Let me actually check. Here we go. I got my torch because fuck cancer, and also this torch looks beautiful. And, uh, okay, seasonal final quests and cosmetic rewards have been added. Okay. Mm. Oh. So, hmm. I may as well actually focus to get all the tasks done, because I think this could be actually quite important as for now, but uh, I feel like it could be actually such a cancer. Um, like, the quests are not that easy, <laughs> but we'll get to see, we'll get to see. Wait, they said they have been ordered. They the rewards have been ordered. Oh, maybe it's not about the leaderboard. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe, maybe it is. Not sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's move on. Mm, price for throwing knives and Princess axes lowered to match the individual price from the previous season. So what are they like? Fucking twice and a half? Twelve gold? Yeah. No, no, that's that's a lot cheaper. That's nice. Okay, so now you and your party member gear score are updated in real time. That's a good change for people who are not meta abusing, so now you actually get to see what's up. Gear score is now displayed, is now displayed for dead players. Oh, hmm, okay. We thank our community for banding together to assist um, the St. Jude's Children Research Hospital in their quest to find a cure for cancer, because fuck cancer. Contributors to the um, charity can now obtain the torch by entering the code in the show. You make us proud to be part of such a passionate and wonderful community. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you, and see you in the dungeons. See you in the dungeons. So far, the patch is beautiful, other than a couple of things. Like, I legit don't understand why would they buff this, because the plate fighter would actually be insanely fast. You will be able to build all the way up to 70% PDR and be fast with it. Big mistake, in my opinion, but it's okay. And weapon mastery will make a fighter equivalent to a ranger, because... A fighter have a physical damage bonus high enough um, and basically by stacking action speed you'll just become equivalent to a ranger so you'll just be a better ranger because uh, rangers don't have as much physical damage so but still trap is a trap so ranger is always going to be a ranger but anyway I want to conclude the patch notes overall all the changes are good so there is really not that much to complain about W Iron Mace good patch good thing that you know we got all these changes I, I'm happy to see the Iron Mace working their ass off to, uh, you know, provide lots of value and uh, meta changes and, like, changes are important. So it's actually quite awesome what Iron Mace does. Anyway, and basically, it's now time to go and check a little bit of Bardish. And so, yeah, let's go hop on the barb. It's been a minute since last time I touched barb and... Um, I make a lot of people mad <laughs> that I don't play on a barb. So yeah, let's go play on a barb for a bit, for a few games. Let's go clap some cheeks and let's see how truly broken the barb really is. 
right now. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally in. It's time to clap them cheeks. In fact, I already some cheeks that I'm about to clap. That's one of the homies. Oh shit, that was a headshot, was it not? I feel like that's gotta be hurting. Yeah, that was direct fucking headshot, like literally in the back of his head. Holy cow. That's rare. <laughs> well, that actually looks funny. Like, I wonder if that's comfortable. He turns into Inuus? The homie have a fucking legendary rapier and he is fucking talking smack. Dog, are you fucking serious, man? You're literally fucking here to be my food, my brother. Itadaki mouse. Yum, 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 yum. I legit could see the raper fucking being legendary. Like, holy hell, man. The homie was upset. I was chasing him. You fucking gotta be kidding me. <laughs> homie is mad. I chase him down. A rogue on a barb. Like, literally, this is what barbarians are made for. Like, to hunt fucking rogues down. The only thing they can actually hunt down. And not always, but I, not all the way. We still fucking get landmine. <laughs> Every once in a while, you know? That was a geared barb and a geared fighter in the lobby. Okay. Ah, what the fuck is that shit? Hello there. Ow. I don't like this. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Let me get out really quick and heal up. Fuck that, bro. I just... I feel like I lost, like, what? 100 fucking 20 health? You have to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> the fucking power of bird dish. But he probably, like, fucking sweet spotted me. With that bird dish. Fucking direct face shot. Like, that was definitely not healthy. I brought in a couple good bandages, so, like, actually doesn't take that much time to heal up. You just pop a potion and a couple of beds and set you are full. Quite convenient to recover, by the way, but uh, also quite expensive. By the way, let's see the tech if it still works. No, it doesn't. They fixed it. Our maze fixed the torch tech. Holy cow. Unacceptable. Oh well. The torch tag was in the game for a year and now it's gone? Really? Why well, you gotta do us like that, brother? But yeah, no, that was a clear glitch, so... <laughs> but, like, it got so common for veteran players that uh, I'm legit surprised it got, you know? Like, I thought it was just meant to be like that, you know? And one more. Did you, brother? Let's see what the homeboy has to offer. A little bit of true, a little bit of more true. Holy cow, brother brought in some cheese. Oh yeah, definitely not bad. Okay, let's see what the homie has. 180 fucking health on a fighter. Dog, are you serious, man? What the fuck? He's like, he's gonna be at 55% fucking PDR with the rondel. Man, this is fucking ridiculous. This is what I was talking about. Holy cow, and the thing is, he could've fucking throw play pants on with extra PDR, with extra fucking health, and that would be 180 plus health, but he would be at like fucking 60 PDR, and with the fucking shield he would be at like 70. Man, like this shit is fucking ridiculous. Okay, we gotta have spawn here, I believe. Yep, I was right. We have a homie here. Wait, we have a homie who is just big time chilling. No, no, brother. It's all you. You be there. Okay, my love. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe he's uh, slightly on masochistic side. You know what I mean? Maybe he's slightly into it. What's the homie doing? My torch is better than yours, period. Oh, yeah? You want this? Uh 
Ow. Alright, fine, fine, fine. We're gonna trade torches. Listen, you stay there, I'm gonna go fucking elsewhere. Don't make me kill you. Alright, see ya. The prime reason about the barb is that you can break doors and holy cow, this is so satisfying. We have a player spawn usually to left. He might come across it, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 this is my homie. This is my homie, but we have to be careful. I brought a troll's piss just in case, so that if I need to, you know, suck in it a little. Oh my god, that fucking hurts. So, this is how you can actually win people who are playing with... Oh, he's fucking on me. One, you have to hit Opal only a couple of times. And then you gotta back the fuck away until you get it back. Heal up, reset, throw all your stuff. Never commit to a fight until you have both of the spells. You gotta use the rage when the fighter use sprint. And you gotta use Achilles to land one, maybe two hits, and then you have to get away. If you can't do that, you die. The uh, fighter will stat check you and will absolutely fuck you. Chances of winning a fight like this are very low because you are in a big disadvantage. So, unless you are... You know, really gonna kite the homie around with everything you got. Otherwise not, you're just fucking not gonna have enough stats, period. Like, I just know how it fucking works, you know? Okay. We hit him once. Hit him in the leg. Press rage and run the fuck away. Okay, we just keep running. He's not very fast. He's gonna have his sprint soon. We gotta make him use sprint. No, that's for sure. And then after he has his sprint on cooldown, we're gonna recommit to a fight while we are full HP. Yep, that's basically it. Yep, he wasted his sprint. That's good for us. I miss. Fuck me. That's not good. If the homie would have a uh, more move speed, I would have been dead already here, legit. But uh, he brought in the hitter shield. Even though hitter shield is better against Burdish, it's not better for the stat checking overall because you are slow and you want to be fast so that you would be able to hack people. Okay, we gotta wait for his sprint. Oh well, he just died. I guess I'm probably oversawed. Not gonna lie. I thought he'd have a little more in him. The thing is, he is like at 60 PDR and uh, maybe even more. And um, he was just not supposed to die like that, I guess. I thought he would also be kind of healthy. So the troll's blood really legit paid off. And basically, we're just gonna sell that kit. And this kit will pay off for legit exactly the same gear set. But the thing is, his stuff might actually be slightly more expensive because some of the stuff he has has three good rolls. And for the most part, the only thing that I have is just action and uh, move speed. That's all. I didn't really bother with anything else. So my gear set is gonna be like, you know, still very budget, like 4,000 gold. But I'm not exactly sure how much he is gonna go for. Maybe more 4,000, maybe less. Well, we would get to see that after we get out. We got a homie here. He got copper light. Okay, yeah, not sure. Hello, my love. Do we know each other? No? Okay, all good, okay, okay. I'm kind of surprised that you just chill like that and you expected that I wouldn't attack you. Like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll just go. We'll, we'll yeah, let, it, let him be, do whatever. The homie is just like big time chilling, legit, he's like, the homie has no enemies. <laughs> no, he has like a fucking thousand gold worth of stuff, like, if anything, he is worse to kill, but, uh, no, it's okay. He have a couple pieces, the copper light pieces, they actually go more. Oh, we have another homie. No, 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 don't do it, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm not planning to attack you, brother. I'm here with peace and love. I'm one friendly homie. I'll give you a smooch. And the coin. He toss. Heads or tails? Which one? Heads or tails? <laughs> you call it, you call it. Heads or tails? 
Oh, shit. We got him up here. Alright, brother, you stay safe. You know? Stay cool, brother. I just checked this whole gear set and holy cow, it actually feels pretty expensive. And I'm gonna lie, some of this stuff could go high. We have a homie. I think I need a nerf. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a nerf, brother. Don't you worry. Just wait a second. Hold on a minute. <laughs> he wants to get a nerf. Yeah, no problem, dog. I'll get you. I'll get you one. Wait, what the fuck is that class? A slayer fighter with a longsword? Holy hell, brother. This is legit most unhealthy version of a fighter build you can ever come across. Slay. <laughs> they just was like, oh man, listen, I want to die. Period. <laughs> That's my build. That's what I call my build. Looks like we got a homie with the demon glee. That would be interesting to mess with him a little. You know what I mean? Maybe he's in the middle. Let's go check. I would assume the homie who needs to get nerfed is the ranger because only rangers use spear. I haven't. Oh wait, wait, wait! wait. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> That's my homie right here. That ducky must brother. Oh, I shouldn't have backed off. That would be f easiest three hits. He would have been dead by the way. Yeah, no. I thought he would turn on me, but he didn't. Oh. He's not feeling it. He's legit. Not happy with the outcome. Oh, I missed GG. This is so over. Your bitch! Okay, nah, it's fine. It's not, not that deep. Okay, okay. I'll just go down. Might as well... Oh, wait. Wait, he's going... I would assume he's gonna go and take the elevator. Like... 99.9%. Yeah, not this one, the next one, because the, uh, yeah, yeah, fuck. The lever is very close to that one, so, but he's not gonna get away, no, not a fucking chance. Smack! Okay. Yep, I'm gonna equip those bad boys. Didn't try closing the door? Oh, fuck. I failed the jump. It's okay. Dun, da, dun. He didn't try to body block me here. Interesting. He's gonna try to body block me, I guess. Nope, he didn't. Don't think he has that much health, though. Try and body block. Oh, yeah, he got the schmooz. That's so clean, brother. Bro. GG. Let's see what the homeboy has to offer. We still haven't come across a homie who needs to get nerfed, you know? We gotta get that fixed. Maybe, maybe? Let me find him. Oh shit, holy cow. That's money right there, that's legit money. Multiple thousand gold. Alright, well, I didn't find the homie that needs to get nerfed, so it is what it is. We're just gonna go into the next game. What can we do, you know? Oh, wait. A ranger with a spear. Hmm. I would assume this is a homie that wants to get nerfed. Sure, we'll give him a little bit of nerfing. Oh, I missed. Got fucking nerfed, by the way. One, throwing. Ah. Bitch. I think I just got nerfed. Yeah, no, I legit just got nerfed. <laughs> the homie died, but I still got owned. Yeah, I gotta give him credit for that. Did you, brother? Alright, let's go into the next game. Not bad. Okie dokie. Okay. There's so many gear players in this lobby, holy cow. That's actually insane. Oh shit. I'm legit dying inside right now. <laughs> Fucked up jump twice. Ow. 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 Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Chill, chill, chill the fuck down. That's actually hurts him a lot. Actually hurts a lot, bro. Okay. He's yapping. I like those. They're my favorite type. The yuppers. 
<laughs> God damn. Oh, okay. He has a... Oh. Yeah, no, you can't really double kill until he is out of that shit. And that's where my homie dies. And yeah, one more. GG. Let's do a little bit of dance. It's like, you know, show some respect. You know what I mean? It's like, when you win the fight, you gotta show the respect. And basically, when you do this, this when you say that you're, you're a pretty good man. But definitely not this guy. So for this guy, we're gonna show some extra respect. Okay, let's go middle and see what's up here. Oh look, we have a homie farming ore. Let's go troll him. <laughs> no, 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 brother, chill. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. No, 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 for real, for real, it's okay, keep mining, it's not a big deal. No, 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 trust me, trust me, you can mine, nothing gonna happen. I'm gonna bodyguard you, brother. Okay. We made some friendship in the dungeon. What the hell is the homie doing here? What the hell is the homie doing? What the fuck is the homie doing, brother? Holy shit! Unacceptable. Not on my fucking watch, bro. Oh, but you don't need this, you don't need this. There is a shrine here to our left. Just go and use it. You can have it, it's all yours. Back to the work we go, Bertha. Hello, brother. The teaming? Oh, it's the usual, you know, the regular, the average. The teaming, the teaming is the most beautiful part of this game, brother, you don't understand. Oh, that's actually so gay. That's tragic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have another one right here, by the way. Hello, my love. Mm, no, 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 fucking fairies. Oh, I fucking missed. I suck dick sometimes. Gotta be more careful with it. You are dead in three, two, one, brother. Homie got folded. <laughs> the homie said I was teaming. Could you imagine? I never team. In fact, <laughs> nah, that's. I I sometimes do. <laughs> Listen, it's okay. You can team. Yeah, no, for real, legit. There's nothing wrong with that. Fucking go team up with someone and go fight. Like I get teamed on every single day, at least four to five times, and it's. It's okay, I mean, I just stopped doing that, but, um, you know, if you want to do it, do it, it's, it's fine, it's absolutely fine, legit fine. The thing is, you're not allowed to pre-team, but if you want to team, go ahead. Once the Iron Mace will have a clear statement on what's allowed and what's not, basically, the Iron Mace says, you're not allowed to pre-team, just don't pre-team, but if you come across someone, go ahead and team all you want, it's fucking, it's fine. Like and subscribe if you like nuts in your face. <laughs> Oh man, that's fucking hilarious. It sounds about right, you know what I mean? It sums it all up. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking hilarious. Hi, brother. Once you're done with it, there is some good loot right there. Go and pick it up, don't forget. And be careful, don't get killed. Alright, with this, I guess we could conclude the video. So, the patches are out. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. We played a little bit on Barb. I hope my Barb homies are not too mad at me that I don't play this class as often. But we're gonna play it a lot more in the future. I just did a couple of games for anyone who wanna see some Barb action. And anyway, we're gonna conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.